Hey guys, it's Izzy and welcome to my car. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the adaptations I've had done on my car as well as just giving you a little tour and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I thought I'd just start by introducing like what my car is. So this is a Ford Focus and it's also the Active X model, which means it's got loads of really sick features on it, which we'll go and show you in a minute. But first I'm going to show you the first adaptation, which is actually in the boot. So my car actually has keyless entry on it, which means I don't have to press any of the buttons and I can just have my key in a bag or my pocket, but I don't have any pockets and of course I don't have a bag today, so I'm just going to hold it. So let's open my boot. So the first thing you have in the boot is this, it's actually from the adaption place. Basically it's part of the passenger's seat like foot rest because I have actually got a dual control in it, which you'll see in a bit. So that is what the things are. So you may realise, Izzy, how are you meant to get the boot down? Well, they actually fitted me this strap which I can reach perfectly. So all you do is pull on the strap, gives you the boot and then you can shut. So now we're going to go into the driver's side because yes, I can drive a car. And again, we have the keyless entry so we can just open the door. Okay, so now we're officially sat in my car. Um, yeah, this is the driver's side. So I'm gonna start with showing you the adaptions on this side and then basically we're just gonna work over. So let's go. So the first thing that you may be able to see are these. So basically what they did is they took the entire panel out which has all of my mirror controls, my windows and things like that. So they took the whole panel out and they actually moved it here where it's raised, so meaning that I can put the windows up and down myself obviously if i've got the engine turned on which i currently don't so yeah this is really great it means i can use them all which is absolutely fab okay so the next thing is actually moving the seats so the seats in this car are actually automatic on the driver's side so they move forwards and backwards now i have to get in the car with the seat actually sat really far back because of the steering wheel adaptions which i will show you in a sec so they moved the entire panel of the seat movers up here where I can then reach them so I can then move my seat forwards backwards I can adjust the back which I'm not going to do because getting your driving position is difficult I can make myself higher make myself lower adjust my lumbar support which makes me feel a bit sick because I'm just not a fan of lumbar support so that is how I move my seat so the next adaptations are probably the two most obvious when you come in my car and it's these two little grey cups. Now I'm pretty sure these are 3D printed cups which basically fit my arms in them perfectly. So let's go through both of them. This one on the right is actually how I accelerate and brake the car. Now although my car still does have the pedals in it, I don't use the pedals to drive, I use this. So I drive an automatic which means I only have to accelerate and brake, they're the only two controls I need. So basically I I drive with one arm in this cup and then one arm in the steering wheel cup which I will explain so to do my accelerating and braking I basically push it down to accelerate only need to push it a tiny bit otherwise I'm gonna end up in my neighbor's house which we don't want to do and then I push it into the wards of the car to brake obviously I wouldn't do that much that's an emergency stop um, so this is basically how I move them and yeah I think it's really good the cops move around so I mean that's more useful for the steering wheel but again it means I can get comfortable in them and they are actually lined with this fleecy stuff which I'm pretty sure was originally a dog bed and it just means that my arms fit in them really nice and comfortable I can drive for quite a long period of time I mean my driving lessons are two hours and I'm still really comfortable driving which is absolutely fab hey guys so I'm actually just sat here editing this video and as I just mentioned driving lessons I knew you guys would all be asking in the comments how my first lesson went so i thought i'd just give you a little rundown of it um it actually went really really well um i think i'm gonna be able to pass relatively quickly yeah we went on some really busy roads actually did like some dual carriageways and i think it's a dual carriageway anyway basically some busier roads and yeah it was really good i've got my next one today so i'll leave a comment on my Instagram probably letting you know how that went Bob. then we're gonna go on to this one so this one's on the steering wheel now I use one arm on the steering wheel and one arm to accelerate and brake 
and yeah this one is basically just a cut fit into the steering wheel so i can screw both ways uh to do like a roundabout or something and yeah they did actually think that i was going to need my steering lightened however on this car i didn't which was really really great i don't have my steering lightened or anything but this cup just helps me maneuver the steering wheel a little bit better which is absolutely fab okay so the next adaptation is actually called a bleeper which you may have heard in the last video it's kind of making a bit of noise so basically what it is and i'll get josh to film me doing it in a second it's basically a tiny little button that my leg hits which has my lights it has my indicators it also has my wipers and stuff on it and basically i have to hit it for a certain amount of beeps and then it does an action so yeah this is how it indicate if i need to you know show then i'm going a certain way so it's actually really really discreet in my car i was trying to show my nanny the other day and she just couldn't work out what it was so i'll do one where you can then see the reaction from it two beeps is actually a left indicator so if i press it and hold it for two beeps my left indicator will then be going and as you can hear an indicator is then going and then it either self cancels if i turn left or i press it two more times and then it cancels the bleep part is actually a really really good adaptation for me to have it means i don't have to use my arms for anything else and it is probably the trickiest part i found so far it was something i really really struggled to do um, just the multitasking element of it, but I feel like I'm about to get in the grips of it now So yeah, I'm gonna show you the middle console of my car Like I said, this car is really really sick Um, I was fine with getting any car that works for me and had the adaptations on that I needed I wasn't bothered about the brand or the cost or anything However, it just turned out that the car that worked for me has some sick features on it, which I'm gonna show you now Okay, so this is the centre part of my car. Uh, Josh is just sat next to me, he's helping me film this video, so that is whose feet you're seeing. So firstly, we have the touch screen screen. It all links to my phone, so it's really sick. I can play my Spotify through my car. I'm pretty sure it actually has Apple CarPlay on, but I've not quite figured that out yet because every time I am actually in the car driving, um, it has to be complete silence. I then have all automatic heating and aircon and stuff, which was something we really, really wanted to get so that I didn't actually have to touch anything whilst I'm actually driving. This is actually how I change my car into the different modes. So as you can see on this little dial, it actually has all the letters on it for an automatic car and you basically just turn it obviously whilst you're braking and this is what allows you to change the from like reverse into park or into drive which is really really useful for me actually um, and not many cars had a changer that I could do but this one does so it's amazing then here's the handbrake and I also have my automatic handbrake turned on which is absolutely fab means I'm not going to crash into anything and yeah i'm not really sure what these other buttons do in general this is basically the middle of my car now one thing i did actually pay to get added onto my car was a wireless charger now josh is just going to demonstrate so it just goes Wait, which in one here is that one? yeah Boom, charging. Charging, there you go. My phone's got loads of charge on it today, but there we go, it's charging. Okay, now Josh, what have you got in front of you? A pedal. Yeah, so as I'm learning in this car, they actually fitted me with a dual control brake, which means my parents or whoever's in the car with me or my driving instructor, basically my dad or my driving instructor, um, can brake if they think I'm gonna like crash into anyone. It's basically just fitted in the passenger's footwell and once I have passed my test and don't need anyone in the car with me and nobody thinks I'm going to crash, then they actually take all of this out. But yeah, this is just in there for now and that's what all the polystyrene in the boot is for. <laughs> okay, so Josh is now sat in the back of my car. I haven't actually had any passengers in it other than whoever is taking me out for a drive in my car yet. Obviously, I don't want to accidentally get distracted. But yeah. How do you think? Is it a good car? I think this is Obviously, above my head, I have these, which, like, protect your eyes from the sun. And then I also have a little mirror under there. I then have sunglasses storage. I um, don't know that. I have a light. Ta-da. Wow. I have a um, SOS button, obviously. This car has so many safety features on it. Um, that I literally I'm not even aware about obviously you have all of your cruise control and all that malarkey it, You can voice activate the system and everything so I'm completely safe in this car obviously I'm gonna crash 
but it's a very safe car to drive then one of the other features of this car that i wasn't like fully aware of, well i was aware of it but i just like was like whatever like it's fine is my moonroof i can either have it just as a sunroof or open a bit so i'll do a sunroof first so these little buttons up here Okay, so there we go, we have the sunroof open. Like I say, I have not used any of these features yet because it's scary. <laughs> and then we can also, which the audio is gonna go awful, so I will talk first. We can also open it to let some air come through the roof as well. Oh yeah. That is my car. And then the keyless entry just works the same. To close the car, so you just shut the door. And then press here, and again and the car is completely secured. Okay, and that is a tour around my car. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see that's car related or driving related down below because I'll be sure to do it because this is exciting. Still got my learner plates on. Um, I'll update you on how driving lessons are going. So make sure to stay tuned on my Instagram stories for driving lesson updates. Oh, it's freezing. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.